Good morning, everybody. This is Sangeeta Saxena, editor, Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from Singapore Air Show. This is day one at the Air Show, and this is the first interview of the show. We are here at the U.S. Partnership Pavilion with Malad Enterprises, and in front of us, we've got Team Malad Enterprises, Diane Peabody, A. Marshall Valia, and Mohan Chaudhuri. Welcome, gentlemen, to ADU's chat room. Thank so you. good to see you here at Singapore. So, Dan, we are meeting again after Hyderabad. Yes. And uh, what is special about this region? Well, we think the region has great potential, obviously, because it's just because of the geography with all the number of islands and uh, water bodies for our amphibious airplane that can take advantage of both landing on land and water. And the aircraft is designed to be a multi use, both the civilian as a regional transportation and a number of other. Re, uh, uses plus uh, uh, military uh, for surveillance or maritime patrol or any number of um, emergency medical type responses that uh, regional militaries and uh, civil defense agencies would use it for. Yes, that's wonderful. And Air Marshal Valia, after so many years of you know having interviewed you, I now want to really understand from you, is this region as important as we felt was when you were in India and you always said this region is important? Also that for this sort of a product, will do you envisage a great market in the complete Far East? Yes, I think uh, you hit the nail on the head. What I have been saying for all these years, we need a diversion from the normal day-to-day -day flying uh, requirement that we have. And our product is going to adjust those requirements because this can take off and land from the, uh, you know, it can take off and land from the water as well as from the runways. Also, this area, especially the southeast, if you look around, whether it's Singapore, Philippines, Indonesia, Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, they have a lot of water bodies, okay? And the water bodies need to be exploited. And we bring that solution, and this solution is much safer. It is going to be a turning point in the history as and when it will be introduced, this particular product. And I'm sure the people in this region are very well aware that they have an advantage to utilize the water body that they have and we would be very happy to adjust those requirements. There is an interest, there is a big demand and we are ready to meet those demands. Right, absolutely. And Mohan, you know, uh, I re realize that you are the guy who manages partnerships and technologies and you know does that basic research for the region i've seen you do it in india what is the sort of technology and partnerships we expect for your enterprise uh, from this region yes yeah, so we believe that this market is uh, really ready for uh, amphibious aircraft and uh, we are so best in this market so we're thinking about uh, having partnerships in India, where you'll make in India, similarly in the region, in um, the Southeast Asian countries. So uh, I feel there's tremendous demand. And we are building this 19 passenger size aircraft that is the perfect size for, it's a right size, good fit for most of the countries in the region. For example, if you have some resorts in an island, uh, or in let's say Cambodia, Thailand, or uh, Andaman and Kubar Islands, whatever. It's so easy to transport 19 passengers versus 70 passengers, or so, right? So uh, it's very flexible. In this region, like we have in Andamans in India, so in this region, uh, what could be the prospective markets you see uh, for so, such a sort of a civilian application? So if, if there is a charter agency, let's say in Singapore, or there is an airline from Singapore or Brunei or uh, Indonesia, they can cover this entire region in just one go with all the 19 passengers, the full weight. So it can go 60, 650 nautical miles. So it's a great circle that can cover with the entire. Region. And are you also planning some, uh, you know, uh, training technology partnerships like yes. you plan with India? Are you planning with Singapore, Thailand, yes. Malaysia? Yes, we're, we're, we're partnering for um, simulators, for trainers, and even ab initio training, and also conversion training, so, so they can get seaplane rating. All of that is being planned. Yes. Right. And uh, Marshal Walia, what do we see here? Do we see uh, Malad Enterprises, uh, you know, selling the product? Or do you see some sort of a association where you have transfer of technology and you can also make it in the countries? These are small countries. So uh, do they have those sort of requisitions like we have seen in India? Everything wants to be done under Make in India. 
so something like that is is this region uh, focusing on that or is it off the shelf buying for them uh, we are looking first for the you know just first to buy the products but we are open to partnerships and those partnerships can vary for supply chain or mro or you know building some parts for the aircraft you know? i mean wherever we get value for our product okay in terms of revenue and labor we will be more than happy to you know export those resources and then you know when we talk about uh, malad enterprises here and when we talk about you know the sort of prospective sale we also talk about some uh, partnerships which could be financial and funding in nature so is this a region you feel good enough for that yes um yeah there as we said you know we're partnering with uh, i mean even if we were to partner with a customer that would be interested in investing in the way of uh, you know investing in the aircraft is kind of an investment in the company or being able to have the ability to do some uh, joint manufacturing where uh, we could have components made there's a lot of uh, capability in the region to do composite uh, work uh, which is the, the aircraft is going to be uh, almost exclusively built out of composite so we're you know any industries that would be looking to uh, partner with us um, to do the uh, construction or build of the aircraft uh, we'd be interested in talking to I mean we'll we'll do the uh, because we have a global market for the aircraft our plan is to have you know do the final assembly and build in in the United States in order to get FAA certification which then we can go come back and get local certification once we have that uh but it would require the manufacturing to be done in the states and then uh deploy the airplane regionally and get regional certifications uh once the FAA is certified right and uh, do you envisage a leasing market for the aircraft i'm sorry do you envisage a leasing market oh, for yes. the aircraft yes, certainly yeah and that's a lot of the industry uh structure is set up that way the lease aircraft and then uh you know the leasing company buys the aircraft and then leases it to operators to lower their initial investment cost so yes right. we're talking to uh, leasing companies also all right absolutely anything yeah. else you'd like to add gentlemen yeah, you know, we, we do have a you know letter of intent from one of the leasing companies you know. okay so apparently there's an interest by the leasing companies also to buy all these acres and lease it out to the operators yeah and so all these ideas to be sold to this part of the world this part of the world Okay gentlemen that was wonderful speaking with you and this is day 1 at the show and I'm sure that as and when the show progresses you'll have lots more to tell me thank you very much looking forward to some great announcements from you at the show here at Singapore thank, thank you so much thank you thank you god bless you